Our topic is winning in a friction-free world. This is something we're gonna be hearing a lot more about. Labor, information, and money move easily, cheaply, and almost instantly in a friction-free economy. Every organization and every person can possess the 21st century's most valuable assets, openness to new ideas, ingenuity, and imagination. The best companies, the most successful companies, will see it as a huge opportunity because they can be that competitor who comes out of nowhere. That's why a friction-free economy is bottom line more opportunity than ever in history. Every business, I don't care what business you're in, is in danger of being disrupted by a competitor they never even thought of. The disruption that can happen to a company in no time is like nothing we have ever seen before. Earlier this year, the largest taxi co-op in San Francisco filed for bankruptcy, and we know why, right? We all know why, because somebody innovated that business model and it wasn't them. Uber has a business model that doesn't require as much capital. It's the largest ride service in the world and it doesn't own any cars. Another thing that's gonna last for a long time geopolitical unrest. What's new is that there is instability among the great powers, US, China, Russia, that didn't used to be there. I'm at the Fortune Global Forum in Guangzhou where I'm moderating several of the sessions. Attendees here include Apple CEO Tim Cook, Ford Motor Chairman Bill Ford, Walmart Chairman Greg Penner, Alibaba founder and CEO Jack Ma, Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, and many others. One big message is coming through here. The clear message from the government officials is, China is open for business, welcoming businesses from all over the world, especially entrepreneurs, and promising them a level playing field. Every business leader I've spoken to here agrees this is a clear effort to fill the void being left by the United States, which is perceived as closing itself off from the world. Every business person has to confront and embrace the fact that government's playing a larger role in our business lives, and it's not going to go back to the way it was. Our topic is business versus government. Uh, recognizing the fact that every business, and particularly this industry, the tech industry broadly defined, is very heavily influenced by government policy and there's been an awful lot of talk about which of those policies are good and which are bad and that's what we're going to talk about now. Getting ahead of those trends is a real challenge for every business and I don't care who you are what business you're in. We can't be paralyzed and think that we can wait for things to settle down. It's not going to happen. The way the best leaders are doing it, they innovate their business model, they manage for value, they build their human capital and they get radically customer-centric.